Hi, this is Rick Sandberg. I'm a senior applications engineer for Hawkridge Systems in our Portland, Oregon office. And in this blog, I'll cover the basics of 3D sketches in SOLIDWORKS, but in particular for those using SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D. So in Electrical 3D, we need to have a 3D sketch that will indicate a route location for our wires, cables, and harnesses. This 3D sketch needs to be called EW underbar path with some index number such as EW underbar path 1. And to do this we have a special command under electrical called create routing path. This command can be used to either initiate the 3D sketch or to take an existing 3D sketch and convert it into our EW underbar path sketch. What we're going to do in this case is create our own 3D sketch and then use that to convert it. So to create a 3D sketch in SOLIDWORKS, we would go under the Sketch tab of the Command Manager, and on the far left is the Sketch command with a flyout. Now the normal Sketch command is just for doing 2D sketches on some kind of planar face or reference plane. But we want the one right underneath called 3D Sketch. If I select that, we're in a 3D sketch. We know we're in the 3D sketch because we have the Sketch tool depressed and darker. We also have the title bar saying 3D sketch 1 of our assembly. We also have the command or the uh, confirmation corner in the top right that has the icons. So it's good to know that we're in a sketch or we're not in a sketch. Now with a, a 3D electrical sketch for our route, the only thing that it recognizes are lines in a 3D sketch. We have all the others, these other tools that we can use, but they're really not going to do anything for our, our EW path sketch. But I can use other things for reference. In particular, I can use the center line, which is a reference line. So I'll start out with that and zoom into an area because really what we want in this case is we want a sketch that has lines offset from the back face of my cabinet box. And to make it offset, I need to start a line some distance away. And to do that, I'm going to use a vertex point of one of my component bodies. So I'm going to roll over this area of this component, this fuse component, until it highlights and click to start the first point of my line. Now I can start dragging out for this line, but you'll see it's in a particular orientation basically parallel to the XY plane. And that's what's being indicated by these red arrows in my screen, the inference lines in the red X and green Y next to my cursor. If this is not the orientation that you want, I can tap the tab key, that's a press and release, and it will change the orientation. So now I'm drawing parallel to the YZ reference plane. If that's not what I want, tap it again, and now I'm drawing parallel to the ZX reference plane or the top reference plane. So tap it one more time and that will take me back to the XY plane. Really all I want in this case is to go out to the left along X. So I'll drag out along X, click to set the endpoint. It still wants to draw a line so I'll end it with the escape key. Great, this gives me a nice starting location for the real lines that will be used in my route. So what I'll do next is zoom out a little bit so I can see my components and grab the line tool and start drawing. Same process though, roll over the point where I want to start until it highlights, click to set the start point, draw in a particular direction. In this case I'm going to do a long Y, click to set that endpoint, drag along X to end it. That's really all it takes. Let's do it a few more times. Draw up along X or up along Y and then out along X. I'm going to do it down towards these other components as well. Let's try something a little trickier now. I want to run some sketch lines or some wires out to some button locations on this door. So I need to do sketch lines to help guide it in that direction. To do that, I'm going to start with my point in the top left, click to set my point, drag up in Y, over in X, but now I want to go 
up in Z in this orientation is kind of up so to do that I'm gonna to have to tap the tab key and now I see Z in the uh, letters next to my cursor and I can draw right along Z right up there click to set a point and now what I really want to do is draw along that door and that's gonna be a different orientation right now I'm in YZ but I'll tap the tab key and go ZX perfect you can see from the inference line that I can draw right up along that door so I'll drag out there click to set the point escape to get out of it and there you can see it's close to being right along that door if you want to you can certainly do a relation click to select the line control click the um, face of that door to select that and I get my relations there's a make parallel now it's guaranteed to be parallel parallel along that door you would typically want to then do some dimensions but I'm done in this case so I'll hit my OK button in the confirmation corner top right and now I'm going to convert this to my EW path sketch using my electrical create routing path command once I do that it's going to have an option to either create a sketch or convert my sketch I'm going to select convert sketch roll over the sketch that I just created select it has a color associated to it hit OK and there's my EW path sketch at the bottom of my feature tree.